Ladies and gentlemen, guess what today is? Whenever, Recovery it's day! <laughs> I thought you asked me a question. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, you know what today is? Anytime we start a vlog like this and I ask you what day it is, you usually know what kind of day it is, right? What kind of day is it? It's Recovery Day! My friend Diesel Dave here, the yep. guy who says hello to literally everybody, met a couple guys that came by the shop the other day. I go outside, there's this big lifted ambulance outside, looks pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm into that kind of stuff. Yeah, me too. I go talk to him, his name's Brandon Gross. Yeah. Does all these sorts of adventures. Yeah. Well, it turns out he got himself into an adventure pickle today. And he's stuck up by Monte Cristo. Keep going! All right, let me try to go back one more time. There we go! We are absolutely screwed at this moment. So it's funny, they literally just stopped by the shop, I don't know, two, three, four, maybe a week ago. I had never heard of them. Uh, started checking out the YouTube channel, do some awesome stuff. So I guess it's Brandon and his buddy Dallas, Dallas. right? They're stuck in the ambulance. I guess they were trying to build a snowboard jump. They've called a couple different tow companies up there. Dallas, trying to go walk and get some cell service. Uh, with no luck, and so they were like, well, I guess we can try calling Diesel Bros. We just met them. I made a call to Diesel Dave. No and way. And he answered. Diesel and Brothers is going to go save us. <laughs> and it just so happens that we've got this bad guy right here. Mr. Brodozer, you guys saw the videos that I put up of it on tracks, like on Instagram and stuff. We were building this for another recovery actually down south, and this is actually the perfect opportunity to test it out. So when they called, we're like, uh, yeah. We're actually going to the same place. If you remember, we put uh, tracks on Stradman's Lamborghini. So they were up there. It's the same place, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the same spot. Uh, the, the van's badass. It's, 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 it's the ambulance. It's four-wheel drive, super capable. But I guess they just got themselves in a real... It's a hotel on the inside too. What do you see? Is it? It's awesome. I'm not, I wasn't here the day they came by, so I have no it idea. It's like MTV Cribs. Really? Oh yeah, it's rad. You'll like it. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm in store for. But the Brodozer has never been on tracks before, first of all. Um, these tracks we've used on multiple different vehicles. We've used them on our 6x6. We've used them on, you know, all kinds of stuff. Oh man, I'll tell you what, that old girl, she's thirsty. Luckily, we have a sponsor for today's video, which is also a debit card, which is the exact same card that I'm about to use to put fuel in this thirsty semi truck. Now guys, we've talked about the current card before, and it's not just a regular old Visa debit card. This is a special card. Using this card, you can get your paycheck like two days earlier than you would normally get. Uh, you can also go up to like $200 in overdraft with no fees, and they just released a brand new product called Interest. That's 4% APY on your money. You literally put your money in the account and you get 4% just just earning right there, so it's wild, guys. And the best part is, to incentivize you guys to sign up for your own Current card, Current has given us $2,000 to give away to you. So if you want a chance to win some of that money, all you gotta do is click the link in my description below, go to Current's website, sign up, get yourself the card, and bam, you're gonna get one of the most powerful debit cards in the world, and you're also gonna get automatically entered to win some of that $2,000 cash. Guys, it's easy, it's simple, and it works. So guys, it is literally the future of banking. It's entirely kept on your mobile phone or on the simple little debit card right here. It's so easy that they've just simplified it. It's a financial technology company. Forget your mom and dad's bank. This is the real deal. It's easy to use and they take care of you. So if you want a chance to win some cash, get the best card out there, click the link in my description below, go download the app, use promo code SPARKS and you can thank me later. But for now, I gotta go spend some of my hard earned money filling up this hard working truck. The cool thing about this is I've never driven a, a rear steer vehicle with tracks on it and the Brodo has rear steer. Full lockers, full everything. Bro, the Brodo has been in storage for a while. We haven't really done much with it recently. So uh, this will be kind of its first trip out in the wild in quite a while. So as you can see, we've got that. And then we have our, you know, trusty, you know, workhorse, the Polaris Ranger on tracks. This is like, this will probably end up saving the day two times or three right. times. Yeah, pull the right. We also have the Sportsman uh, XP 1000S with uh, tracks on it, which is also probably one of my favorite machines. Tracks on, tracks on, tracks. We have the Craftsman trailer all loaded down, which by the way, we're giving away this trailer and this truck setup. So click link in my description below, dieselbagger.com. Uh, that giveaway ends soon at the end of this month. So you better get on that. In like five days. So we've got about an hour drive ahead of us to get up there and meet up with them, see just how bad they are. They're not too far off the road from what I understand, but I, I guess they're just buried. Oh. Hey. I love recovery.
every day. name names the driver of this truck may or may not have left the fuel cap uh, sitting right here in the box he left fuel caps gone so we improvised I uh, I made a mistake the good news is I've got my handy dandy grip lock zip ties which are adjustable and rubber lined you should have the cap by now I should that right there ladies and gentlemen that's a fuel cap pretty sure that's emissions compliant that's thing. how I think the new Kenworths are coming yeah the new Kenworths come with this just the supply chain issues <laughs> at least we're not going to be splashing fuel down the road we have completely reinvented the zip tie partnered with Mike Patey, the most genius man I've ever met in the uh, pretty much world, especially the aviation world. Also, our boy Cletus McFarland. We've designed and patented a zip tie with a couple of other partners that go like that. And then if you need to readjust it, pull that tab right there and it comes apart. And more importantly, rubber infused liner. So it doesn't chafe cables and wires and all that kind of stuff. I'm telling you right now, this is the next big thing, and I've got something really, 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 really big coming for you guys soon with this product, so buckle up because I think you're all gonna be very excited. These things are freaking sweet. This truck, we did a little work on it. Uh, the fuel system, cleaned it out, filters, that kind of stuff. That bad bitch pulls. Like that did really well. That's a steep canyon road and it was not struggling at all. That did really good. So uh, remember, you could own this truck. We're giving it away. You have like, by the time this video airs, you're gonna have like maybe three or four days left to enter to win. Uh, giveaway ends at the end of March. Truck, trailer combo, turnkey business package. And all you have to do is go to beastpacker.com, which is our website. Every $5 you spend, you see another entry to win. I know I say that a lot, but after we're driving nothing up the canyon just now, like. I'm more pumped on it than ever, because it is running like... This is nuts. I've driven a lot of vehicles with tracks on them, but this one has probably got me definitely the most excited. This is a, I know this truck inside and out. I have taken this truck to some insane places, beat the ever living shit out of it, and it always just keeps coming back for more. This has actually been our least needy vehicle ever. I don't know if I've ever broken anything. I might've broken, oh, I broke the oil pan once when I jumped it at the dunes. That was me being dumb. Like it's just a rugged beefcake. I'm just hoping that it's not too heavy for these tracks because these tracks are made more for groomed trails, which is kind of what we're going on. But like, it, it, it wouldn't be a great deep powder setup, but there's not a lot of deep powder out here today. So let's see what happens. Super favorite hero. <laughs> hey you, I got a question. Who is your 
favorite superhero? Heavy D guy? Or Darkwing Diesel? Seriously? You didn't give me it. You, I'm the heavy D guy, and you went with Darkwing you Diesel. Chose. Well, I guarantee my slow mo jump's gonna be way too so sick of yours. No way, I'm gonna land like. They go. Oh, coming to yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Turns out you shouldn't jump with shorts and boots on into a big pile of snow unless you want your socks to get wet. This might be the end of the day, actually. That was a beautiful backflip. That was, really good. that was a nice backflip. That was a great intro shot. Okay, well. Now that my friend's here, we can start the intro. So guys, listen up. You popped right off. You popped it right off. So we're up here at a place called Monte Cristo. This is where we film the Stradman video with his Lambo on tracks. We do a lot of just different, you know, fun vehicle filming up here. And um, in fact, why don't we insert the clip of when I hit the the rev, the rev limiter on Stradman's? Let's do that. Clip. Let's do Tesla that. Tesla clip. Yeah. Into the Lambo clip. No, let's do the that's Strad. Right here. It's cool. Hey, the Strad. Hey, Stradman. We're fine. We're yeah. cool. I love Strad. Strad loves me. But we can we can look back and laugh now at the time that I almost revved your Lamborghini to twenty thousand RPMs. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, we just barely got up here, unloaded, going over the Brodozer. This thing hasn't been out in a long time, so tons of little quirks and gimmicky weird things we got to fix. It's a rock crawler. There's nothing ever major that ever breaks on. It's just like a wire mm -hmm. will come loose or an airline will pop or something like that. Or so punch a hole in the Hunter and Jimbo are up there doing their thing right now um, to get it uh, dialed in. And then I think these guys, we don't know exactly where they're at because they don't have cell service where they're at. They had to walk to call. So we're going to go see just where they're at down the trail. But apparently they're buried enough that no other recovery company would come get them. And the snow cat that runs up here, I guess, is not available or wasn't willing. I don't know what the deal was. So obviously we jump the opportunity to do recovery literally. jump the opportunity to, yeah literally jump the opportunity to work with other cool youtubers uh we want to see their four-wheel drive ambulance van so we do have a uh, a couple of secret well three secret weapons we've got the brodozer on tracks we've got the brodozer yankum kinetic rope and we've got the brand new smitty built winch this thing is like state-of-the-art top of the line we just barely installed it on the back of the brodozer um and between those three items I don't think that these guys could be stuck enough that we can't get them out. Hopefully, we'll get them. So, 100% we'll get them. Once we uh, get the trans cooler working on the back of the bro dozer, we will be headed down the trail. Also, can we just talk about this real quick? Can everybody agree that there's no better vehicle in the world than a Sportsman XP1000 on tracks? There's like the Ranger's cool with the cab. No, it's fun. But this moves. It's, it's good. It's like a wave runner almost. It's yeah. like, it's seriously guys, if you've never ridden, I know I've said this in every video, but if you've never ridden a Polaris four wheeler on tracks, find an opportunity to do it or we'll give away an experience to come do it or give away on, because it is like literally the most enjoyable thing you've ever done. Also, snow conditions are kind of shit. It hasn't snowed much recently. So it's like hard on the bottom, squishy on top because it's been warm. So it's really, this is actually the hardest snow to get through other than just straight deep powder because this stuff is so kind of sticky and heavy that everything just wants to sink and you know stick to the tracks and the tires so so far so good with the brodozer other than a couple little electrical issues but we're ready to go guys one final thing before we start heading down the trail to finish this recovery you may have noticed that in the comments of all of our videos this guy or this group of guys, overseas scammers, take a picture of my face or Diesel Dave's face, and then they say, you win, you contact me, you win, or you message me, you win prize. And then it's like WhatsApp numbers, and it's just, I need you to know that unless the comment comes from my profile that says Heavy D Sparks with my face, and it's actually verified by YouTube, and it says we have 1.8 million subscribers or whatever, do not respond. Don't email me, don't DM me, don't call me, don't do anything other than report it to YouTube and they'll make it go away. So many people have been falling for this. Like literally the worst like shitty English and we've blocked a lot of the keywords that they try to use. So now they're having to like fragment sentences together. Uh, we don't use emojis in our comments on YouTube. So if there's a bunch of emojis, that's a red flag. We do not use WhatsApp. So if there's a WhatsApp number, we don't do it. We never say, hey, DM me. It doesn't happen, okay? So if you see that in the comments, please, 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 please just report it immediately to YouTube and they'll handle it. If you email it to us, there's absolutely nothing we can do to help. We're sorry. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. But we know people that have lost like thousands of dollars falling for this because, you know, it's just... 
scammers. Uh, scammers. They suck. Yeah, they, they suck. suck. Don't fall for it. That happens on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Anywhere you see someone say, DM me, you just want a prize. Don't fall for it, okay? Snack time. Good old So we're about, what would you say, 10, 12 miles Where in the road. Deep? This is deeper than uh, I expected. And again, they don't have cell service. Um, when they did get a hold of us, they walked or I don't know how they went to some mountain and found uh, service. And they just said, we're on Ant Flats Road at Monte Cristo. I know the area pretty well. So uh, it, the road doesn't go much further. So they got to be here pretty close. I've stopped right now because we're waiting for Jim and Dave and everybody else in the Ranger to show up. but. We're deep. We're really deep. We're much deeper than I would expect a four by four ambulance van to go. In fact, I don't know if we're gonna have enough fuel to get out of here, Hunter. <laughs> Making brewing some biodiesel or something. Um, on another note, the Brodo's just kicking ass. Just absolutely dominating, just like we thought it would. Also, um, I wanna let you guys know that Hunter is the mastermind behind the track design here. I just basically said, Hunter, we got tracks. Figure out how to bolt them up to the Brodo'ser. It's not like just buying an adapter. Hunter documented the entire process of how complicated it really was. So that man right there, I want you all to click the link in the description below and go watch the video of how he built these tracks and also subscribe to his channel because he's our dude. Yeah, Hunter, Hunter uh, did a hell of a job. In fact, he even went the extra mile, even though he was a little, a little, I had to push him a little bit. He even put the spare track on the back. It was worth it. It was well. Thanks for pushing. Yeah, it turned out great. Also, Hunter has bangs. You want to talk about the bangs? Not really. No. They're, uh, I, I they actually look good right now. Like they don't look bad. They just okay. look, like, you look like it's look okay, like right? Home. Actually, Hunter, your bangs are horrible. Just awful. You look like little Debbie. Dude, how many subscribers is he at right now? He's at 21k. Okay, how about this? At 30k, you guys get him to 30k subscribers. Heavy D gets to shave his head. I want to see bald Hunter. I don't want to see him at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm Brandon. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Dallas. <laughs> Good looking mustache, man. Hey, Thank Dave. You. Thank you. I, I feel I feel horrible. I, I met this guy like last week for 20 minutes. I, I heard about the visit. I wasn't there and I missed out, but I um, guess I guess I didn't miss out because here we are. No, no yeah, are, I, are. I'm missing out now. This is the only way he makes his initial visits with people. <laughs> you don't meet people on normal terms. Only, no, only, like this. only, only hands on distress type things. Yeah, well, we are, uh, we're pretty in distress here. Yeah, that's, that's us. Four wheel drive, right? It is. 
but uh, some of the wheels are just like not even touching the ground at this point. You're just completely high centered. Have you tried digging all that stuff? We were did oh, yeah, yeah we did we dug for a while and then we actually made it another twenty feet in, <laughs> which is not the way you wanted to go. No, no, you, you know, were we, determined. You kept going that way. Well, that's, so that's the crazy thing. The road goes. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, it looks pretty promising over there. It looks decent. It does look like fun. You know? What was this theory? It, it kind of, where were like you headed? Well, we were, so the plan was, what we, it sounded good on paper, that we were going to park next to a hill such as this and build a little backcountry jump and like kind of grind the side of the ambulance with our snowboards or jump over it, just whatever we can get into. Just film some cool content. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we, we did, uh, I mean, I, I towed him behind the entire way. <laughs> What a ridiculous afternoon! We, I, we actually saw some what appeared to be snowboard tracks, which oh, I the now norm. makes sense. That was, that yeah. Was Hold on, I have a we dirt bike. Elephant in the room. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> there's some, I forgot there's, it was over there. There's some whiskey throttle tracks on the road. Uh, yeah, it was getting a little squirrely on the road, and then when I came <laughs> back in, it sunk, and I was like, you know what? I don't even need a kickstand here. I'm just leaving it. So you know, dirt bikes don't really do well in the snow with tires, right? It was either that or walk, man. So yeah, I'll do whatever. So you guys are going on 24 hours here? Uh, a little Close. bit more than that, maybe. Yeah. I don't, honestly don't know. We've just been like cooking and hanging out. It's our second day out here in the mountains. <laughs> We've been digging for a while. Dallas about to chef up some quesadillas. We're just gonna kind of chill out until they get here. We don't really have anything exciting to film. I was not. You guys slept all right? Oh yeah. I get the master bed. This pulls out into a bed, so that's where Dallas is gonna sleep. Night, night. <laughs> I had yeah, the that. guest bed, so it was a little small. <laughs> Are there just like two stretchers in there? Or how do, was that I'd like make him out? sleep on the floor in the dirt, and <laughs> nice. then I have a nice bed, you know? I like it. Uh, all right, well, let's assess the situation here. Yeah. yeah come take a look. Uh, uh, what do you, have you weighed this thing? You probably 12,000 pounds, maybe? It's almost 14,000. Don't 000. you hide those tattoos. Yeah. What are you doing, man? <laughs> are, you you all, are you all aired down and everything? Uh, yeah, the, um, I think the front left might be completely aired down on accident. I think the, I think it was, the valve was leaking anyways. Oh. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, no, compressor, no compressor? No. Um. Yeah, you're, uh. I didn't, we didn't, th we don't think our, our adventure's through too much. I mean, it looks like an adventure to me. Yeah. Just, how much and digging, you guys have done some digging and it just kind of keeps getting buried more and more? Yeah, yeah that was it, the only shovel we had was, uh, like. Build us. How's Jim jump? already digging? Jim, yeah. You don't need a dig, man. Jim knows what he's doing. I know he is. That's the he's been in a situation before. One rule, man. When in doubt, dig. Dig out. That's the rule. That's the rule. I thought it was always. When in doubt, dig out. I thought it was not fun as well. Yeah. Why did you leave dig out out of that rule? Because that was perfect for one in doubt. In doubt, dig. No, no, that, I hate out. it when you just stop right there. <laughs> there. Finish her off with a dig it out. Or digging. <laughs> digging. <laughs> and now just dig. <laughs> oh, say so they dug over here. This thing's pretty sick. Thank you, man. Can I look inside? Yeah. Look. It's all built out? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to come down and join you yeah, real quick. See. Are you back with them? I got to get down. Well. I got to get down somehow. That was, <laughs> that was hands down the sexiest oh, backflip I've ever seen. I could do the same thing, but I look like a gorilla. What did he do with like a... I didn't even see that one. Welcome to where we've been living for the last two days. Welcome to our home. Oh, this is sick. Thank you, man. It's, uh, it's, a, it's been cleaner, all right? I can imagine you're in dire circumstances. Yeah, we've we just been making quesadillas to survive and um, hanging out on the roof, getting some sun. Dude, this is like a full build out. This is pretty sick. Thank you, man. The pass through here. Fridge. Yeah, who built this? Uh, I built the inside uh, with some help from my dad. So we kind of did the entire inside over three months. And then the four wheel drive and the lift was all done by uh, AJ's 4x4 up in uh, Portland. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. This is, I was expecting, I heard that it was like they were living it, but I actually thought it was still like an ambulance, uh, not a full, like this is nice. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So the bed situation here. Yeah, which... so this slides out, that's where Dallas slept. So uh, this all slides out and then I sleep up top. <laughs> Does and then slide out and fold down? Uh, no, the whole bottom just slides out oh, and okay. the cushions come down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the bed is on linear actuators, oh, nice. so it'll push all the way up to the ceiling so you can have more space under there. So it's like bunk beds. Yeah, exactly. Dude, but that's sick. 
Dude, this is van life right here, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. This is sick. Thank you. And I, I honestly cannot thank you enough for coming out without yeah. even knowing who I am. No, no dude, look. <laughs> I feel so you got, bad. You got one of these, man. You're part of the club. There we go, yeah. Look at Brandon Gross <laughs> passing on. I had never seen your channel up until now. Now I'm excited to see it. Well, so that, Now you're going to be a part of it. By the way, guys, mm -hmm. Brandon, our new friend, subscribe to his channel. Link's going to be in the description below. Um, so record companies you talked to said no way? There was no chance, yeah. yeah. As soon as I, they asked where I was, and I don't even really know where we are, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I just kind of like looked on a map and I was like, it's out past this, and yeah. they were like, we don't service yeah, no, that area. No, yeah, yeah. no standard record. Yeah. Yeah. Even my brodozer with tracks is like, yeah. it's squishy. Dude, that thing is crazy, though. Yeah, I feel like if anything is going to get it out, uh, yeah, I agree. that'll yeah. have to be it. I'll tell you this, I was expecting to come here and give you like one or two good little yanks, but this is going to be a, a project. Yeah. What do you think, Jimbo? Well, summer's only like a month and a half away. <laughs> Our plan, if you guys, if you guys didn't respond, like if Dave gave me like a fake number, I, I was totally just gonna, Man, we're just gonna wait it out. Real number this <laughs> the, the guy with the ninja, the guy with the ha the the bun. He's a real ninja. Literally, I think so. He's like, Dave's like, you're getting back, Bob. He's like, well, I gotta get down somehow. He just like this, just like pulls out his phone, checks his emails, flips, sends a few emails, sends. A, Sends a few emails, puts it back in his pocket, exactly lands like, like this, exactly. and just so yeah. Here's my ambulance, and I was like, what? The? And then as he's talking, his ninja partner number two does like a front flip aerial thing off it. That's when I come. Your rodeo. With the fat kid with the shirt on at the swimming pool, yep. and I just do a pencil. <laughs> Can opener. Yeah. Wanna do it again so I can watch? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys put, hold on, did you guys put uh, try and go traction tape, whatever it's called up there? Yeah. Just for this purpose? Well, not for here, but normally like if we're parked on a bridge or like next to something to... Nice. Ooh, nice. You, gotta, you gotta throw something, man. Like a cannonball? Or... A <laughs> cannonball might not be the best choice, but I'm here for it. I'll take it all the stuff. No, man. My hat brim. Holy cow. Oh, I, I think it's a rotation. Dude, dude, I'll do it off a two foot curve, I'll do it off a 200 foot cliff. That's like my only trick. Wow. Oh, Sparks could do that off like a parking stall <laughs> and then <laughs> land on his face like that and then he could be like bleeding everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I almost just barely missed it. Yeah. These heavy snow boots oh, on he's me. He's the boots up. Yeah, it's gotta got get serious now. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> Email midair. <laughs> yeah, I think he was sending out an email up there. <laughs> See, that's what I'm oh, talking about. Thanks for that. Is that what you guys joke do? Hands. I heard you clip jump. And yeah, we kind of clip that. jump. Um, we've, get, we've been getting into snowboarding a lot this year, hence our uh, adventure coming out here, which turned into hanging out with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cliff diving. Checking yeah. out caves, which I want to... Should we go cut a hole in the ice on Kazi and see if they'll jump in it? Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's do it. Yeah. Hold either way. you don't have very many good hook points. I have absolutely no hook points, to be honest with you. Um, oh, perfect. Yeah, you yeah I put that strap on yeah, there. Can we just guys? hook up to this? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. what that's there for. Here's what I think you're going to do. I'm going to try to at least break you free first. Yeah. Um, pulling you forward. We have these kinetic ropes. In fact, uh, it's called the Brodozer rope. It's oh. designed to go from like full slack to full send and it, it like bungees you and they oh, don't okay. break. It's like they're almost impossible to break. In fact, we, we broke a one inch steel eyelet the other day on our wrecker before the rope broke. Rope didn't break and it, it launched the eyelet three quarters of a mile what? across the lake bed. Yeah, Jim went and found Jeez. it. It was crazy. Okay. Uh, let's grab the J bridle hunter okay. um, and then we'll hook to the front and then we'll just we'll start giving her hell, see what happens. I'm just, <laughs> thank, dude, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Seriously, thank you guys, everybody that's here. Love you guys. This is looking a lot worse than I expected. So, 
originally the plan was to take them down through there and up that little hill but the problem is we didn't realize that that's a drifted like canal so the snow's really deep and really soggy in there um so we're better off just following this this kind of road that we're on even though it's an uphill pull it's already been packed down pretty well so i think with a couple good tugs we'll be able to pull them that way the only reason we wanted to pull from the front was because there's better hook points up there basically we're gonna pull from behind pull them back up towards the main road once we get on the main road we're probably gonna have to tug them the rest of the way out because the road has deteriorated like bad in the last few hours it's gone from like nice frozen you know hard pack to what you're seeing now which is not ideal um, but the van's moving i mean we got it definitely moved but that's not the way to go like the brodos are almost got stuck for a second that would have sucked But I got faith in this thing, you know? Those are kind of just dragging. Oh no. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, that wheel's completely off. Well, the tire's off. Oh, your tire's off, yeah. Tire uh, which way is, the, is it turned this way? I can't, like, turning the wheel's not doing anything right now. It helps the tire was on the wheel. It's bad. Basically, as we were dragging him backwards, when he came in here, it looked like his tie rod uh, got bent and it's kind of U shaped now, which means he has no steering. And so his front tires are cocked this way. So as we're trying to drag him back, that's creating, look at all that snow piling up in there. That wouldn't be there if we can get the wheel straight. So we're gonna use the new Smittybilt winch, which is really handy that Hunter installed yesterday that I'm super stoked about. Oh, we're gonna do our favorite trick. You guys ready for this? We're gonna use the old ether to put the tire back on the B Love trick. It. This is my favorite. Hey, there's more shovels in the back of the Ranger in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> so what happened was they aired down, which is what you do when you need traction in snow. But I guess the valve core, um, when he removed it or put it back in, it may have stripped or something, so it was leaking overnight. Yeah. That's the only I can think of. Because you didn't let I all did, the air out. I didn't let all the air out. No, yeah. definitely not. Hey, Brandon, at least it's not just like some street queen. Oh, well, that, see, that's the thing, like, I would never want to own something like this without just beating it up in the woods and in the mud, you know? Uh, Brandon, Dallas, have you guys ever seen the old ether tire trick? I've seen videos. I've seen a video, I've never seen it done in person. Take starter fluid, right? Take a lighter, take your air compressor, you get that producing a little bit of air in there, right? Then, you take your starter fluid, you do a nice ring around, you want to make sure it gets inside the actual wheel, otherwise it doesn't work as well, and then, Stand back. Stand back. Oh, Bam. <laughs> Dude. Science. <laughs> Science rules. It's coming. There you go. Right there. <laughs> so now that we got that straightened out, uh, we're going to be able to basically take some ratchet straps in there and lock it in place. So he's not going to have steering for the moment until we get it up on the road, but now he's not gonna be plowing snow, so he should be able to pull right out. Dallas right next to you and compare these mustaches? No, no, it's not. Hey. I mean, no, that's not fair. That's not fair. Dallas's mustache is literally, that's straight out of Tombstone. <laughs> Dude, it looks fake. It looks Mine's like, out of Tomb Town. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> Hold on. Joke of the day. Anybody hear that? No, oh no, I was talking I about. Dallas's mustache is straight out of Tombstone. Alec goes, 
Mine's straight out of Toontown. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, are we wrong? No. It's more than I can grow, so hey, I, I commend you. I'll get there one day, Dallas. Why are you so show. close to me? Get the hell out of here! Never in a million years did I expect this to be happening. I mean, this whole thing. Helpless being in here, like I can't steer anything, so now all I am is just a throttle guy. I got a victory banana cream pie. Well, Where, where'd you get that from? Well, I have I a pocket. I got a little victory pie in there. I got you a little bite of banana cream pie. You got a victory pie? Yeah, I'll give you a victory oh. pie. You want to buy me? I'll buy you one. Oh, that was some work. Listen to my heart. Listen to my heart. Listen to my heart. Listen to my heart. Listen and shed a tear. Waiting for. Cheese. It's a bag of spicy pickles. I got pickles. Well, that's not all. I got a slice of cheese in there. I got a and beef got stick meat. in there. And I got pickles in there. And best part is, I got a best friend to share it with. Best thing is, I got the same setup over here. I think we ran out of fuel. They're back there checking right now. I was sending my wife a text, letting her know I'm still alive, and then I'd go back and help them. We, uh, we've been pretty much full throttle. I guess actually- All damn it, I'm talking. Kenworth, we can just drain fuel at the bottom of Kenworth. Yep. We've been full throttle all day long, and the brodozer ran out of fuel, which is a lot of fuel. I think it's like a, a 20 or 30 gallon fuel cell, but when you're literally pinned all day, that's the first time we've ever ran out in this thing. It can usually do all of Moab with no problems. Problem is it doesn't have a fuel sending gauge, so we don't know how much fuel's in there. So literally, we're like half a mile from the truck and we ran out of fuel, so. Can we like, I wish we had a way to siphon it out of mine. I think I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared. I'll wait till we get that. I don't want to just take it to the well, mouth. Well, just the fumes alone are bad, dude. Broken. It's locked. What's in there? Batteries oh, yes. in a big mess of wiring because I had to redo all the solar once it was already on. Yeah. And this is a diesel heater. 
that Dallas is about to suck out of the hose. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that little Wabasto heater runs, or that little diesel heater runs off that tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, sweet. Yeah. That's yeah. a clean job, man. You did a good job. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And there's the awful deaf tank. Biggest nightmare of a system. Mm, yeah, water yeah. heater, propane, and all that. That's sick. Thank you, man. You guys designed it, built it all yourselves? Yeah, I just kind of like figured it out as I went. <laughs> <laughs> just... Oh. Oh, this is actually, hey, this is Dave. It's time to shine. This is what he does. You know what oh, <laughs> Damn it, I didn't know there was some in there already. <laughs> God, I might be able to get her with the old one of these. Really? Really? I just took some diesel Let's to the mouth for no reason. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Freaking science, dude. Crack that pump. We are back. Dude, what an adventure, man. You guys saved my life out there. I wash all the stuff down. We need to clean it anyway. Guys, guess what? Me and my best friend, Diesel Dave, have decided to give away 25 of our brand new Brodozer Yankum recovery ropes. This is like one of the baddest ropes on the market. Mm -hmm. It's kinetic, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a really hard time breaking it because I haven't even been able to. You know what else? I feel like giving away five of the Smitty Built winches we use today. The, the brand newest, new ones? Yeah, the baddest winch on the market. So here's the deal. We just installed the new Smitty Built winch on the Brodozer and tested it out today. We tested out the rope. Both of them absolutely dominated everything we put them up against, and now, all you have to do for a chance to win is go into any floral parts store anywhere in the country or go online, make any purchase. It doesn't matter what you buy. Go buy candy bar. Take a picture of your purchase or your receipt, post it on social media, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, hashtag 4WP, hashtag 4WP March Madness. If you don't have social media, email me the receipt. I don't care. Info at heavydsparks.com. We want to give away these ropes. We want to give away these winches and we want you Go have fun like we did today because as you can tell, we're pretty fucking amped. Trust me, you need it. The winch and the rope, like he said. Boys, dude, we did I, it. I, we did. We Thanks to you, man. That was, uh, not gonna lie, I came in thinking like this is gonna be a piece of cake because, yeah. you know, we do a lot of heavy recoveries and an ambulance, you know, it's not technically that heavy. But when you get it buried like you guys do, yeah, you guys are wild. Yeah, we, I don't know, we, we're not super smart all the time. <laughs> You're smarter than we are, because we like we're the ones that signed up to come rescue you. That's true, yeah. Hey, he made the mistake, man. I met him, yeah. and... I made the right choice. I said, this guy's gonna get me into some fun later, I'm gonna get his number. <laughs> one week later. <laughs> smart, yeah. It's, like a, it's like a, kind of like a romantic comedy, right? <laughs> like one of those funny, like, Sleepless in Seattle movies. Like, you I met each other, yeah, it's Seattle. a great movie. Yeah. Yeah, so you met him. It was serendipitous. He rescued me from so, guys. Trains. As you saw, it was quite the uh, quite the day. We had all sorts of not just struggles with obstacles, but mechanical issues. Man, it was one thing after another. Brodozer hasn't been out in like a year, so just dumb little things, wires that were loose. So we were fighting that stuff, and then at the end of the day, it runs out of fuel like a mile away from the truck, oh, and so then the, the fuel pump so quits. Close. So it like literally took us longer to load than it took us to recover. And then obviously your tie rod broke. My drag link, yeah. my drag link bent in half, uh -huh. my tranny was overheating, yeah. it was a- it So was you're, a... you're not driving that home, which is why it's now on our trailer, I which is why now that yeah. is the, I don't want to say the sketchiest load because we don't do anything <laughs> sketchy around here, but that is the most creative load that I've probably ever hauled. Is that right, Hunter? I'd say the lengthiest load. And Hunter I would say we have creative. done sketchier loads. Than oh, sketchy, sketchy. Yeah, it's not sketchy. No, That's not, it, that this thing's not going anywhere. I'm just saying you made the point of that we don't do sketchy stuff. 
right. We don't. It's not sketchy. This is creative. I said creative. It was just a puzzle. It was just a big puzzle. Yeah, it's like Jenga, and I'm I'm not Jenga. Tetris. The car parking game that you play on your shapes. Anyways, guys, listen up. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would go subscribe to the YouTube channels of these gentlemen. Obviously, you've got Brandon Gross, right? Up on YouTube, Brandon Gross, yeah. And Dow Pal, D A L L P A L L. These guys do some wild, like ah, uh, some of their videos they're doing like backflips off of like hundred foot cranes into the ocean. It's actually really entertaining content, and I believe that it deserves a lot more followers than what you currently have. Thank and you, it's man. because I think you're transitioning from just yeah. being the jump cave guy to. Now you're now doing I'm, the van life. Yeah, it yeah. was a rough transition. People followed me for caving and cliff yeah. jumping, and then it's been four-wheel off-roading in an ambulance, which is a heavy change-up. Bro, but you're looking at the kings of diversity yep. here. I, last I've week, seen. last week we were sorting through pallets. Today we were saving idiot YouTubers. It's crazy. You know, you man. never know what's gonna. Happen. I literally watched you uh, sorting out paper yeah. cups. Yeah. Last yeah, that week. was last week, and, and then the uh, week before that, we were looking for a missing person. The week before that, uh, I was just showing a day in the life of my regular day. So diversity on. is our deal. Also, guys, if you haven't checked out Hunter's channel, Hunter, 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 Hunter the band. Hunter is the man who made the tracks on the Brodozer happen. I told him to do it. He just put his head down, and went to work. Those adapters that he built are mind blowing. So you got to watch the video. We'll link it in the description below. Go check it out. Uh, See so you also, guys there. Just some Power Gears YouTube. Yeah, we need some love, man. YouTube. Oh yeah, and power gear needs some love. Guys, we're asking you to do a lot of subscriptions <laughs> here today, but honestly, it's all it's worth it. We ask. wouldn't ask you if, if these aren't, weren't all good things. Mm -hmm. Diesel Power Gear does have, you know, our company Diesel Power Gear. We're finally getting back on YouTube. See, we started with us, me and Dave again, on, on this main channel, and now the rest of the company's kind of like, hey, this is awesome, let's do it. You got Cole right there, Mr. Handyman. Yeah. He was the marketing guy, now he's the, the floor jack guy. Yeah, floor jack guy. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Huge jackman. Yeah, huge jackman. <laughs> huge jackman. <laughs> <laughs> could, my page will be, when I make it, huge jackman. Huge jackman. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one of the day, I like that one. By the way, last thing I'm gonna tell you, no more plugs. No, this is a big plug. There's probably gonna be a few more plugs right here. This truck right here, this Kenworth, this T800 that's hauling this incredibly amazing looking load. It could be yours. <laughs> you go to dieselpowergear.com right now. Giveaway ends at the end of the month. You're gonna get the truck and the trailer totally for free, turnkey business, and we're gonna help you get your CDL if you don't have it. And all you gotta do is go to dieselpowergear.com. All the links to everything we're talking about is in the description below. So with that said, we're done plugging. Hey, we're done playing. Tell them they can do this. <laughs> That's worth it alone. That is itself. definitely worth it. That's a that's a good sound. Everybody loves the Kenworth. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. See you on the next one. That's what.